Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? What's poppin'? Today I'm going to renovate Penny Pizzazz's apartment, which is this one right here. So Penny Pizzazz is supposed to be this cool like social media A-lister, but she lives in this apartment. And I'm just gonna show you guys a look of how sad this is. Hello, alrighty. So this is Penny's apartment. Um, I, I guess it's it's okay. You know, you walk in through here, um, and then you've got this big like studio apartment set up. And it's so weird because she's an A-lister, but she has like this really sad, boring base game bed. She's got her little computer area, living room, and then she's got herself a little bathroom and a kitchen. And I feel like we can just do so much better for Penny and just give her the apartment upgrade that she really deserves. So with that, let's jump into the speed build. So for this renovation, I really wanted to take into account Penny's like character in terms of her being this kind of like social media, like A-lister. And I try to keep that in mind when I was doing the apartment. And the first step, honestly, I kind of hated the whole thing. So I pretty much deleted everything and just tried to give myself like a blank canvas to work with. So I just like painted all the walls white just to make things easier and then started tossing down some doors and windows to try to see if I can make something work. And my goal is to try to separate out the space a little bit. Um, Possibly because I recently went down a total YouTube rabbit hole of New York City apartments uh, and looking at those and I wanted the space to feel like a little bit more cramped but still give her all the space she needed to like be this YouTube like internet celebrity person. So that was kind of the vibe that I had in mind and I also wanted to try to make the apartment be like kind of trendy. Um, so I used a lot of stuff from high school years, I used a lot of stuff from Dream Home Decorator, and I wanted it to feel like kind of chic and like fancy and stuff, but I had so much fun with this. Um, I really, really love doing renovations, and this one was especially fun because it was a total just gut renovation of, let me just get rid of everything because it's terrible, and then slowly work from there. Uh, the bedroom, I wanted to use a bunch of the new like high school year stuff and I wanted to make it feel like it was the bedroom of someone who is like this trendy uh, socialite so I gave her like a big wardrobe and a big rack for like her hanging clothes um I was trying to make it feel realistic to like oh wow like this person is really into being a celebrity like I'm gonna give up a bunch of clothes I actually used cheats to like put the shoes from dream home decorator um, on this rack and then I realized that some of them were floating a little bit so I took them away <laughs> and then oh my gosh this rug guys this was so difficult and I don't know why I had such a hard time with the rug but you'll see me change this at least like 20 times in this video. I also made the most incredible discovery that the wallpaper from Dream Home Decorator in this swatch is almost an exact match for the little throw that's on the end of the bed. And I think that's one of my favorite details in this build is that there's like this cool accent wall and then there's a throw that kind of matches. I feel like that's really cute, um, really fun. And um, here we are, we're back to the saga of the rugs where I try everything and I hate everything. So then I keep deleting it. I go furnish other parts of the house like, like all oh, these rugs aren't working out. So what if I just put some lamps and some curtains up instead? And then I eventually go back to the rug and I realize I hate the rug and I try something again, you know, rinse and repeat, blah, 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 all of that good stuff. So I kind of had in my head that Penny was going to be kind of this like streamer celebrity. So I wanted to give her a nice little office setup where she would, you know, be filming her stuff and then make like a cute little wall in the background to be like the, the background <laughs> of the video and I was trying to figure out what kind of vibe I wanted to go for. Uh, I was thinking of doing like a cool sign and some plants and some lights and I really tried uh, a lot of different combinations of the same thing but I decided I did really like the couch. Um, and then I, tr I tried doing some combinations of these little neon lights like imagining it was her custom like little logo. Um, and then I decided to use these butterflies from Parenthood because uh, I thought they looked really cute and it was like a nice aesthetic vibe and then I did like the little skateboards be you know like trendy like skateboards lights in the couch I felt like it was kind of a nice complete vibe um and then I put in the, the guitar just because it matched the hot pink couch and I never used that guitar so I was like oh that's kind of fun 
Um, I, I really, I really liked how the office turned out because I struggled with kind of the layout of it for a while since it is kind of a weird shaped room. And I think it ended up turning out really, really good. Um, trying to figure out what type of light I wanted to put there because I wanted to be like, you know, streamer lights type of thing. And it just wasn't looking the way I wanted it to. So, you know, I had to workshop it a little bit, but I, I'm re ultimately really happy with how this entire build turned out. Pretty proud of it. And then for the kitchen, um, the kitchen, you know, it looks, I feel like is a deceptively small, large space because there's a lot of tiles, but then when you try to do something like put in an island or put in a table, it suddenly got really, really squished. And I feel like I didn't make the best use out of the space, but I'm pretty happy with the kitchen anyways. Um, I think I ended up keeping that little corner table and then also having the little breakfast bar area as well. Um, but I, I got really attached to the idea also of putting like this stove hood in and then I couldn't make it work. And then I rearranged the whole kitchen and then I hated that as well. So I put it back kind of how I had it. I tried making the kitchen smaller, larger. Um, your Sims can cook on the island countertop. So figuring out know, that'd be fine. Oh, I ended up deleting that the little table. Um, I think this is the final layout I ended up going with for the kitchen, but I wanted to kind of bring some of the blue and yellow from the bedroom into the kitchen and have some cohesiveness with the whole kind of more open area of the apartment. Um, imagine, you know, Penny has her whole like little vibe of like blues and yellows and stuff like that. And I wanted to make that kind of consistent throughout the whole build as much as I could. Um, I have like the bright wood floors, but then using kind of like some of the paler wood around as well. And I tried to keep some of the aspects that she had in the original build. So for example, in the original build, there's like the TV stand, she also has a game console. So I made sure to include that as well to kind of, you know, make it kind of similar. And then this is where I started projecting with the living room. And I thought I wanted to do it a totally different way. Maybe I wanted to do pink and because the pink couch kind of had some little bit of blue almost in the, in the cushions. I was like, maybe I want to make like an aesthetic like pink area. And then I didn't really like it. And I went back and forth a bunch of times. And, and I think I ended up going back to exactly what I started with. Honestly, one of the big struggles was I really liked the Art Deco E like tables for the TV and they're just a little bit too tall. Um, <laughs> so then I actually ended up using one from Paranormal because I felt like it looked cool um, and I could kind of tie the blue in but have it be white mostly so it wasn't too much blue or too much like loud colors going on but it still was like an aesthetic piece of like, oh, I have this cool apartment, like everything's like a cool piece of furniture. And once again, here we are back to the rugs. Uh, put something in the bedroom, we'll see if it stays. I honestly don't remember what I ended up with in there, but I'm not even sure how many rugs I've gone through at this point in time. We've got a nice little chair. I really like that these newer furniture items that we're coming out with in the new packs have more details to them where there'll be like a 3d cushion on the chair there'll be a little throw on the chair and it just gives them so much more dimension and kind of a more realistic feel to them now this is where you can see that my new york city apartment rabbit hole um starting to come in where i got this idea about exposed brick and i decided i was going to put exposed brick everywhere um and then i restrained myself a little bit to just put it somewhere um, have that in the living room. I feel like that I could imagine, you know, if they're marketing the apartment, be like, oh, it's historic. It has two feet of exposed brick on the wall. And you're like, oh yeah, now this apartment is worth like much more money per month. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like exposed brick is just such a, a trendy thing these days, uh, especially in New York. But if anyone's a New Yorker, uh, let me know. Is exposed brick a big thing? What are your hot takes on it? And if you're not from that area... Also, what are your hot takes? I'd love to hear them. That was <laughs> very much a random tangent, but now that I've got kind of everything down, it's just a matter of going through and adding kind of the little details 
so putting like the tissue box in the bedroom and like some makeup and things on the bedside tables and just trying to make it feel realistic and like lived in but at the same time balancing the amount of clutter I was putting in because I didn't want it to feel too busy or too cluttered then you also don't want it to feel like totally empty so I really tried to strike a good balance with that um, and then I couldn't really find the right vibe of art that I wanted because I wanted kind of like chic art pieces um, but then she's supposed to be like this like celebrity like into like pop culture so then I decided like cow plants are kind of sims pop culture so we'll do like a cow plant poster in the bedroom <laughs> um oh, I feel like cow plants are everywhere you know we had the, the little tiny one little simsy from the paranormal pack and then we have the cow plant poster from the high school years plant pack so figured it would be you know cool and relevant to have a cow plant poster hung up but I think we are starting to get to the point where we are getting close to wrapping up and just putting in those final touches of putting in mirrors and like bathroom decor and just really wrapping up the last little details. This was like the death corner over here. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to put in it um, because everything just didn't feel right and I ended up just putting in this massive bookcase so it would take up space and like have some texture and then I had this weird issue with the door of the apartment where I couldn't figure out why it decided to be a part of the wall and you can't edit the external doors so I was <laughs> I was extremely stumped and it turns out that it was fixed by going to manage worlds all right so just to pop into live mode real quick to give you guys a tour we walk into the place and we've got this nice little kitchen area right when you walk in nice and simple nice and bright nice and colorful um and then we've got this nice little living room space over here go around the corner and then we've got our little bedroom area very nice i'm a big fan of the bedroom we've got a nice accent wall that matches our little throw i thought that was really cute um and then we've got our nice little streaming area and our bathroom but thanks so much everybody uh, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what lot you'd like to see me renovate next. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye everybody.